Time Guitar Must Know Monday. Today we are going to be talking about the sixth interval, both major and minor, and we're going to harmonize it on a couple string sets that are super useful. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the reason that these are called a sixth interval is because they are six, note apart, six notes apart. Um, so the first one we're going to play is a major sixth interval um, in the key of G. You're going to have your middle finger on the fourth fret of the G string and your index finger on the third fret of the high E string. And you and B to G is six, six notes, so that's why it's a sixth interval. There's six notes separating them, um, so it makes it a sixth. So there's your major shape, again with your middle finger on the fourth fret of the G string and your index finger on the third fret of the high E string. To play a minor sixth, you're just going to take your middle finger and you lower this note, but I play it with my index finger up here. Um, so basically to play, this is a G major. To play a G minor, all you have to do is move this note on the G string down a half step. And that, that's your minor sixth shape. So you have major and minor. Now moving up a string set, this string set on the D string and the B string are, is, is the same exact shape to play a major sixth. It's still with my middle finger on the fourth fret and my index finger on the third fret. Um, it's the same shape, just moved up a string set, set from the high E and the G to the B and the D. Okay, so the next string set's gonna be the A string and the G string, and I've moved it up um, because the notes down lower on the neck tend to get muddy. When you get on these string sets, uh, the interval gets muddy. You can't really tell if it's minor, major, or the distance between the intervals. So I moved it up to cancel out what's called a lower interval limit. Um, so anyway, the major six, you're gonna have your ring finger here on the 12th, 13th, 14th fret. And you're going to have your index finger on the 12th fret of the G string and your ring fingers on the 14th fret of the A string. And then again, just to make, to make that a minor 6, you would just uh, lower this note a half step to the 11th or 13th fret. So there's your minor 6. You've got your middle finger on the 13th fret of the A string and your index finger on the 12th fret of the G string. Then major is going to be your ring finger on the 14th fret of the A string. And this string sets the same, uh, the low E and the D. Uh, you really don't, you might, might do something like that, but it, it kind of gets muddy. But the, the, uh, the shape is the same as the A and G string. So you got your major sixth with your ring finger on the 14th fret of the low E string and your index finger at the 12th fret on the D string. And then to make it minor, you lower this note. So now you got your middle on the 13th fret of the low E string and your index finger on the 12th fret of the D string. All right, now time for the cool stuff, harmonizing the major scale with sixth intervals. All right, so you remember your shapes. You got your major, major sixth, and your minor sixth. Well, we're gonna move them up the G major scale and harmonize them either major or minor, depending on whether the chord in the G major scale at that degree is a major or minor. So if you don't know the one, four, and five chords in the major scale, uh, that would be uh, a G, C, and D are all major chords, uh, major triads, and then uh, the two three, six are minor, um, minor triads, and uh, the seven is actually a diminished triad. Uh, the minor six works. Um, it covers that because it is just the, the minor third of the triad and the root. So, all right, let's get started and harmonize this major scale. So we start out here on the, um, 
with your root note, your root note's always going to be on the bottom. So this is going to be uh, a G chord uh, in a sixth interval. So your root note is right here on the third fret of the high E string. And you're going to want to play a major sixth. So use your major sixth shape. Next chord we're going to have is an A minor. So your root note, again, is on the high E string. Um, and you're going to play a minor sixth. The third uh, is going to be a B minor. So you have your root note here at the seventh fret. Um, on the B minor, you want to play a minor sixth interval. Next chord is major. It's going to be a C major. So you have your root here on the eighth fret. And you're going to play a major sixth. Next chord is major. It's the fifth. It's the D chord in the key of G. Uh, you're going to put your play a major sixth interval with uh, your root here on the high E string at the tenth fret. Next chord is in minor. It's going to be an E minor. You're going to have uh, your root here on the high E string and play your minor sixth shape. Next chord is going to be an F sharp diminished. Uh, so you're going to have a minor shape uh, here at with your root note at the 14th fret on the high E string and play in your minor sixth shape. And then back to one. You can hear that really wants to pull back to the G. And then we're going back to one major shape. Now the really cool thing about that is, uh, we'll just go over the shapes real quick. So you got major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, major. And what I was saying is the really cool thing about that is, is uh, on the B and D string, uh, it's still the same shape. So if you want to harmonize the, uh, let's say the D major scale, um, you got your root note here on the on the B string at the third fret is your D. You're going to play a major sixth interval. Then you're going to go minor with your um, you're moving in the major scale, right? Do re mi fa so la ti do. All those are going to be your roots for the key of D. Um, so just find your major scale using your ear if you have to. So again, it's this, the shapes are the same on the D and B string. Major, minor, minor. Major, major, minor, diminished, major. Easy as that. Uh, we could harmonize these as well. Um, I'm not going to. Um, as long as you know your major and minor shapes, and uh, in the major scale you know that the, the first chord, the fourth chord, and the fifth chord are major, and the two chord, the three chord, the sixth chord are minor, and your seventh chord is diminished, um, but it's got a minor third. So uh, the sixth interval works there because you're playing the minor third in the root of the chord. Um, you can harmonize those out yourselves. So I hope you enjoyed this Must Know Monday on the sixth interval, uh, the major and minor sixth, and we harmonized the major scale a little bit with them. Uh, just fiddle around with it. Uh, try to make some lines out of it. Try to use them to fill in spaces in between words of the songs to play filler licks, things like that. Um, use them as ear training. Uh, try to teach yourself what sounds different between the major sixth and the minor sixth. That is always helpful. Anytime you can do anything ear training wise, uh, it's worth its weight in gold. Uh, as always, keep practicing, keep jamming. Tell your friends about Primetime Guitar, and if you haven't already, please hit subscribe.